You're missing your target groups? You don't know who they actually are? Well, you're in good company. My name is Pascal Kobe. I'm a communications consultant specializing in agriculture and rural development. And I want to talk to you today about a problem that I find quite common in development cooperation communications. There's two very different things. First of all, you can try and convince your listeners of something, or you can try to relay some facts, data, information. Now, why is that important? Because if you want to convince somebody, you need to actually use emotions. So using facts and figures is not gonna work. So there's your first problem in the usual uh, communication in development cooperation projects. You are scientifically driven. You use facts and figures. Meanwhile, you actually want to convince somebody of something because you want him to do something. As you might realize, it's pretty clear if you want to use emotions or you need to use emotions because you want to convince somebody then you would have to use a completely different approach. You put into your video completely different elements as if you would work with facts and figures. Facts and figures, you show results, you put in inserts of, of facts and figures of the project and so forth. That's a completely different, different way to approach the thing. Now, there is another reason why this is important, and that is because in the real world of your project communications, you will have goals from your project that translate into goals for your communications activity that are more on the emotional side, that are more on the convincing side, and there are others that are more on the fact side. So if you want to be successful with that, you will have to separate those goals and move that into different approaches. So don't try to mix that all in one. 